Good morning everyone. I hope you're having an amazing day. This is Karan here back with another video. I'm actually starting a new YouTube series on Android application pen testing. So I just made this video to give you guys a sneak peek of what we'll be covering in the series. As you can see from this title, I've written Android app pen testing Bakbani style. And I will soon reveal why this title um, and, um, and all of that that goes behind um, the series at later stage. So let's check what we will be covering in the series. To kick it off, obviously we will be covering Android and its history. We will look at uh, Android Crash Course, means we will dive deeper into Android. We're not going to cover Android from A to Z, but covering enough so you have a good grasp on um, you know the, all of the Android concepts that will come into um, you know, into this course and I mean really handy when you're doing Android application pen testing. I will also be covering um, what you need in regards to setting up a lab for your Android application pen testing. Uh, so we will talk about all the tools, all the software, everything that you need in order to be able to set this lab up. As I stated, as part of the Android crash course, we will also be diving deeper into um, Android app components. So these components are also really important um, to understand what, how the application is uh, running and what this application is actually doing. And all of that knowledge comes in if you have a good grasp on um, these Android components. Obviously, we'll be looking at OWASP Mobile Top 10. Um, every time in the course when I'm referring to a vulnerability, we will use OWASP Mobile Top 10 as a reference material. Um, and obviously developers can use uh, OWASP Mobile Top 10 guide to, you know, to design and come up with defenses that can prevent a particular vulnerability as well. Um, as you may know, there are a number of different types of analysis in uh, Android application. So we will be looking at static analysis and the tools that are um, used daily basis uh, to do static code analysis and static analysis of Android apps. And then we will look to do dynamic analysis as well. So the difference between static and dynamic analysis is, well, in static, you don't run an app, you reverse engineer the app and then you look at the code and then you find vulnerabilities. Um, you may be looking at data that is at rest. Um, you know, they could be hard coded secrets um, within the application and stuff like that. Whereas in dynamic analysis, you're actually running the app and you're trying to change the behavior of the app uh, with certain tools. So the main tool that is uh, we will cover in this tutorial or in the series will be Frida. Um, so yeah, so we will I will I will teach you how you can use this tool to do dynamic analysis uh, for Android apps as well. Once you have some protections in Android applications. Um, I will cover this particular module will be focused on that, like how to bypass those protections. Uh, and again, developers can use these teachings and learnings to plan their defenses against these sort of protection bypasses mechanisms as well how to secure your Android applications. So this means how to obfuscate your code. So an attacker, when they reverse engineer your application, um, can't really make sense of that code. Uh, when you when an attacker is attaching that app to a debugger or an attacker is attaching um, this app to an instrumentational tool like uh, Frida, your app should behave differently. So we will talk about these mechanisms uh, in how to secure your Android application. So guys, this is what we'll be covering in this YouTube series. I'm really, really excited for this. And uh, those of you uh, who haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. Um, and again, if you have any questions or, uh, you know, you would like to see a particular topic covered in the series, please feel free to reach out to me on Twitter. You can see my Twitter handle in the description or you can please post your comments in the, you know, the, in the video here as well. But yeah, so this is it. Um, yeah, I will be creating these videos. Uh, there are already a few created uh, and I will be uploading those soon. Um, and yeah, please stay tuned. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you very much.